Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Thompson. Joining me in studio is Sarah Faragala, St. Louis Showcase Director for Raw Natural Born Artists. So Raw, Raw Natural Born Artists, that's quite a long name. Tell us what Raw is. Uh, Raw is a nationwide indie arts organization. Um, it's been around for about three years now, although we're brand new to St. Louis as of last month. Okay, so when we say indie arts organization, people always hear indie music, exactly. indie arts. Mm -hmm. What is really, when you say an indie arts organization, besides independent, what does that really mean? What can what can people associate with that? I guess truly independent. Um, we exist without sponsorship. We exist um, completely off ticket sales. We basically self-fund and self-promote mm -hmm. all of our own events through grassroots um, kind of marketing campaigns and such. Okay, so Raw was started out west, is that yes, right? Southern California. Okay, Southern California, and you have, as it's an organization, national platform with in cities all across the country, mm -hmm. right? So St. Louis is, you just are, you're heading up the St. Louis base, is yes. that correct? Yes, we're in about 50 cities right now. Um, I think the count right now is 65, but to save over 50 to be safe. <laughs> um, so what is sort of the goal of RAW? I mean, you're really trying to help discover local artists and get them on a national platform? Yeah, just to serve as an initiative for uh, for artists like our founder, Heidi Luera. She was herself right out of fashion school and she had this amazing line and found herself selling it at swap meets in Southern California and thought there has to be a better way. There's gotta be a way without uh, boutique placement or for a visual artist gallery placement, there's gotta be a better way to get your work out there. And um, she knew a bunch of really cool people just like herself and they decided let's do this ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where the idea was born. So if you're an artist and you're looking to get discovered, we should people should obviously go to one of your um, events. But when we say artists, like what type of art are we talking? Because that covers a full spectrum. Absolutely, we uh, we feature artists of all kinds and genres, just across the board, from mm -hmm. performing okay. artists mm -hmm. to um, visual artists, filmmakers, photographers, visual artists. I mean, basically, you name it, and we will feature them at some point. We're looking at some photos. Sorry, I thought earlier okay. we were cutting to a photo, so I apologize about that. But this is uh, so one example from yeah. your last event. This yeah. is a fashion designer, is this correct? Actually, this is, um, it looks like a fashion designer because our models are so amazing. But this was a hairstylist who okay. decided to do some live hairstyling at the event and had some really amazing models that she was working with. Um, that was just one of the artists. Actually, both those pictures are from just one of the 25 okay. artists that we featured. So. Okay, so 25 artists, and it covers... Again, that was live hairstyling. We had live makeup artistry going on. Three fashion designers at that event, um, accessories designers, painters, mixed media artists, um, dancers. We had an amazing dance troupe. Big Money Dance Performance came mm -hmm. and, and performed. Um, we had a filmmaker there. We just had, like I said, a bit of everything. <laughs> so it's film, makeup, hair, dance, yeah. visual arts, paintings, photography, arts. pretty much everything. Yes. What I thought was really neat when I was reading about this is that this really helps. It's like a platform to help an artist, let's say who's a fashion designer here in yeah. St. Louis, if they potentially in like a year or so have, or six months, have the potential to be showcased nationally and yes. get their own line or have funding backed behind them. Is that, yes. can you tell us the progress of how this works with, um, with RAW? Absolutely, basically the first step is they would showcase here in their hometown for the artists here that would be St. Louis. They would um, join us in a showcase locally. And then after that, after participating in a show in their hometown, they're able to do an event anywhere in the country. And that's one of the perks we can offer them by being national. If they have their heart set on LA, I know one of our fashion designers, Polly Gibson had, you know, his heart is set on LA mm -hmm. and we're going to get him out there to show his line, um, which was quite stunning. <laughs> I wish we had a picture <laughs> of that um, uh, from our show and, and it's as simple as that. He just says the month and the date that he'd like to go and I work with the director in that location and he'll get five, six hundred eyes on his work in a city where he may have never been. Right. So that's kind of that step. Um, after that, we do uh, an award show here in town November 15th. Um, we have a local award show, the best of are all asked to come back, and then at that point the community and a panel of judges will vote on the best in all those categories that we mentioned, and they will go on to the Raw Awards, which is an event we do in January in Hollywood, where, like you were saying, for example, a fashion designer um, would get their line picked up, get startup money, kind of very career advancing awards that are suited for that particular art, whatever that genre may be. Okay. All right, so this is the, uh, it's, I, I think it's twofold. It's one fosters the artist community yes. here in St. Louis that already 
already exist and it raises the awareness and exposure and it also is a platform or a potential pathway to uh, to be discovered nationally yes, definitely. so we're gonna hear more about this because we want to talk about the next showcase that's coming up because you do monthly showcases yes. as you mentioned and this is the last one was what 600 about 800 600 people 600 actually. people yeah. so it was very successful for the first one yeah. you have a new one coming up so we're gonna take a break but don't go anywhere because we're gonna talk to Sarah learn more about raw in this upcoming event and remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us streaming live on stltv.net. Keep it locked right here on STL TV. We'll be right back in a few minutes.